Hi, I'm Lizzie, and I had an experience that changed the way I viewed myself. Okay, so I'm an overweight girl. I have been like that since a very young age. I got all the usual teasing that fat kids get. People called me names, bullied me, imitated the way I walked. All of that hurt, but I liked being fat. I liked the way my curves felt, the way my body moved. The other overweight girls in my class would talk about their diets and how they were trying to lose weight. I felt like there was something wrong with me for wanting to stay big. The only downside was that nobody at my school would date me. I was envious of the thinner girls and their football player boyfriends. I really wanted a prom date, but I knew that would never happen. But outside my school, I had better luck. There was a surprising number of men online who were obsessed with big, beautiful women. I would post my pictures on dating sites and forums for men who loved fat women. I was only 18 and I enjoyed the attention. How they worshipped my body. One guy, Kyle, said he'd love to go on a date with me. He called me a goddess, saying I was the most beautiful woman he'd ever seen. I agreed to go to a burger joint with him. He looked even better than in his pictures. He was slim and in good shape. I loved that he didn't mind being with a big woman. I ordered a burger and a side salad, and he told the server, make that too, please, and fries, no salad. I thought he meant he would eat the other one, but when the dishes arrived, he pushed both toward me. Eat up, he said. Aren't you going to eat? I asked, surprised. He shrugged. I had a big breakfast. You can have mine. I finished the first burger, feeling a little awkward that he was just sitting there sipping a Coke and watching me eat. I'm actually full, I said. Maybe we can get a to-go box for the other burger? Aw, come on, he said. I like to see a woman enjoying her food. Hesitantly, I picked up the second burger and bit in. His eyes were practically shining. God, you're beautiful, he whispered. That made me feel good, so I grinned and took another bite. Maybe you can have dessert too, he said almost to himself. I did think there was something a little weird about his obsession, but as he told me later, he'd always been attracted to obese women. He said he loved the softness of their bodies, loved the look of their skin rolls. He didn't know why so many men wanted skinny women. I'd really like to get you even bigger, he said. It's hard to imagine you even more gorgeous, but I think you could be. I was so excited by his interest, I started fantasizing that we'd become girlfriend and boyfriend. Even though he was older, I wondered if he would come to prom with me. On every date, he would make me eat a lot. A couple of times, I got sick afterward, but he told me it was okay. I'd get used to it. Why do you want me to eat until I'm sick? I tried to laugh, but I wasn't really joking. I just want there to be more of you to love, he said. That made me feel good. I gained weight fast. I'd already been nearly obese, but now I definitely was. There are a lot of health risks associated with obesity, my doctor warned me. We can do some tests, check your thyroid levels, see if there's a reason for the sudden weight gain. I'll also put you in touch with a nutritionist. I told myself that doctors were prejudiced against fat people. I'd read lots of stories online about doctors who wouldn't even help their patients pain until they lost weight. At Kyle's request, I kept eating. I did start to have some problems. My back hurt. I became out of breath very easily. My clothes didn't fit. The kids at school got meaner. Lizzie, my mom huffed as she took me shopping for new clothes. We can't keep buying you new clothes. You need to call that nutritionist. I ignored her. Kyle supported me, even if my own mother didn't. We are boyfriend and girlfriend, right? I asked Kyle after we'd been seeing each other for a couple of months. I mean, we saw each other nearly every day. He was always telling me how into me he was. He knew I didn't want to have sex yet, and he said that was fine. I was worth the wait. He laughed. Why do we have to use labels? He asked, taking my hand. Can't we just let it be what it is? But 
What was it? He never seemed interested in kissing. He never wanted to go anywhere nice, just fast food places where I could eat as much food as possible for cheap. He didn't ask how school was going or what colleges I was applying to. I told him I'd try to go somewhere close by so we could still see each other. He barely replied. One day, I decided to ask Kyle to prom. It was only a few weeks away, and I desperately wanted to show off to my classmates that I had a handsome man who thought I was a goddess. I put aside my burger and popped the question. He gave an awkward grin. That would be weird, wouldn't it? He nodded to the burger. Finish that. I think it would be really fun, I insisted. It might seem silly to you, but I want to go. I don't want to go to your prom with you, you stupid pig, he shouted, slamming his hand down on the table. I gazed at him, shocked. People were staring at us. The same people Kyle always told me to ignore when they stared at me for being fat. I was humiliated beyond words. I got up and fled home in tears. That night, I stared at my body in the mirror. I realized I no longer felt sexy. Somewhere, I'd crossed a line to where I didn't feel good, physically or emotionally. I missed the fat body I'd once felt comfortable and attractive in. Kyle eventually texted, telling me he was so sorry. He'd had a stressful day at work and hadn't meant to say such an awful thing. It made my heart swell with hope. Maybe he did still like me. But I was torn. Could I ever really forgive him? That night, I started getting chest pains. At school the next day, they were worse. The last thing I remember was trying to stand up in chemistry class and get to a bathroom to throw up. Next thing I knew, I was in a hospital bed. My mom was standing over me and looked like she'd been crying. I was so scared. I didn't know what was going on. The doctor explained that my sudden weight gain had led to a blood pressure spike. She said if I didn't start eating healthier, my health problems would continue. I cried for a while after that. Mom asked me what had happened, and finally, I told her about Kyle. She was shocked and scared, said she wanted to find Kyle and kill him. We talked for a long time, and by the time I was released, I was resolved. Never again would I alter my body for a man. I've been working out with my nutritionist for a while now, and I'm almost back to a weight where I feel good. I've also done some research on fat fetishism Turns out there are quite a few Kyles out there. Men who claim to love big women, but they don't necessarily love the woman herself. They like the thrill of making her eat a lot of food and watching her get bigger. I understand now that Kyle never really cared about me. His interest in me was based only on the way I looked, nothing further. It made me feel objectified, and it's taking my self-esteem longer to recover than my body. But... I hope one day, I'll stop blaming myself for what happened and learn to love myself. Thanks for watching this video and listening to my story. By the way, I believe you noticed that this burger appeared several times throughout the video. Count the number of times it appeared and write it in the comments, please. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.